Hello. It is tempting to sum up the next 10 days as autumnal. Certainly as far as the rain, the wind and the cloud is concerned, it will feel like autumn, but it won't feel like October as far as the temperatures are concerned. What we've got during the next few days is the jet stream coming out of North America and then strengthening on the other side of the Atlantic because of this temperature contrast that you often see in the autumn between north of the jet stream and south of the jet stream. Then the jet stream dips close to the Azores before pushing north again during Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and the weekend. And as a result, we're going to see all this warm air pushed north across Europe. Now, we've got high pressure across Central Europe, but it will be unusually warm for much of the continent, not just the UK. In addition to that, we've got low pressure to the west of the UK. And over the next few days, a similar kind of theme emerges. The jet stream picking up various small scale areas of low pressure deepening them, sending them towards the UK from the west and bringing bouts of rain and wind. Here's one such bout of rain and wind, some heavy rain pushing north across western UK on Tuesday night, a wet start to the day for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England on Wednesday. Strong winds push that rain north quite quickly, followed by showers, and it stays blustery throughout Wednesday. Gales are unexposed western coasts. Into the start of Thursday, further showers follow along, but actually there'll be some drier and brighter interludes on Thursday afternoon as well. There'll even be some sunshine coming through. And with that wind coming from the south, it will be unusually warm. 19, 20, perhaps even 21 or 22 Celsius in the southeast. And for the north, mid-teens, 16 for Glasgow, Belfast, Newcastle, for example. So temperatures throughout the UK well above average for the time of year, both by day and by night. These are the kinds of temperatures we'd expect to see by day or even a bit higher in some spots than the daytime average. So unusually mild as we start off Friday as well. And in fact, over the next few days and nights, you can see temperature anomalies will be much higher uh, with, uh, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the UK covered mostly in red. That indicates that across the UK, those above average temperatures will remain by day. But even darker reds for Thursday night, Friday night and Saturday night. So those temperature anomalies particularly marked by night. And it's going to be often breezy. Now, of course, that will cause those warm nights, but it also cause quite a blustery conditions on Friday. For example, this area of low pressure sitting to the north, that will bring a spell of rain in from the west, pushing east across the UK, turning to showers, but a blustery day with quite strong wind gusts for all of us. And these areas of low pressure, they're picked up by the jet stream. This is the uh, basically the breeding zone for these areas of low pressure just to the southwest of the UK, and they're going to be pushed north across the country at times over the next few days. But by the time we get to the weekend, some differences in the computer models emerge. This is one computer model run, and in this situation, the jet stream picks up this low, it deepens it, and it sends a weather front in from the south to bring further spell of rain and wind to many places on Saturday and into Sunday. But when you compare this computer model run with other computer model runs, there are differences starting to emerge by the weekend, and that's because well, you only have to have very, very tiny differences in how the jet stream interacts with all these different areas of low pressure. And by the weekend, huge contrasts start emerging with the different computer models. So what we do in these situations, we run the computer model 50, 51, 52 times, and we get something called postage stamps. This is a snapshot for midday Sunday, and because these look like postage stamps, that's what they're called. But they basically show the position and depth of the low pressure uh, near the UK for uh, all these different computer model runs. And they're all saying roughly similar things. They're all saying that low pressure will sit to the west. We'll have this very mild southwesterly airflow. It will be unsettled with spells of rain and wind. But in terms of the depth and the track of the low, there are big differences. Now, the red boxes show those postage stamps, those computer model runs that have particularly deep areas of low pressure that would bring very windy conditions. But they're in the minority. So a lot of other postage stamps don't have very strong winds. However, it does indicate that that's something to keep a close eye on and monitor as we get closer to the event. 
but broadly speaking, all of those postage stamps can be summarised into this kind of weather pattern where we've got low pressure to the northwest of the UK, southwesterly winds with the wettest weather in the west, and with very mild air across the UK. And it's likely that we're going to see something like this weather pattern throughout Thursday to Sunday and beyond. And this shows where the rainfall is likely to fall. So between Thursday and Sunday, this is the total rainfall we're likely to see. And from the main computer models, they're all saying roughly the same thing. West is wettest with some relatively high rainfall accumulations over western hills, a couple of inches or more, uh, but generally drier towards the east and southeast, which is what you'd expect with that kind of weather pattern. The devil, of course, will be in the detail. Those are the rough themes. Speaking of devils, a similar weather pattern is likely for Halloween. Southwesterlies, changeable, mild, wet in the west, often breezy. But later next week, there are some changes that are likely. Now, that weather pattern I've just shown you is represented by this blue colour on this cumulative probability graph. And these eight weather patterns basically represent all the different various permutations of high pressure, low pressure near the UK that we see in our climate. So southwesterlies and changeable weather, the light blue there. But the probability of a different weather pattern increases as we go through next week. And the dark blue here is a different weather pattern, but only slightly different. The blues generally indicate low pressure will be close to the UK. So we're going to go from this to something resembling this. Only a small change. It's still going to be unsettled with low pressure near the UK. We're still going to see the wettest weather to the west. And it will still be relatively mild. But with the winds changing from southwest to westerlies, it will become less mild. Those temperatures trending back towards normal for the time of year. So in summary, low pressure is likely over the next 10 days. It's going to be autumnal with wet and windy weather. Wettest in the west, windiest in the north. Could be a bit windier at times next week compared to this week, for example. And after that very mild start, temperatures will begin to trend back towards average for the time of year by the time we get to later next week. And of course, bonfire night. But so that's all from me and we'll keep you updated on all those various details as we get a better handle on them over the next few days.